guys welcome back to another vlog welcome back to the channel it's your boy lance if you guys haven't subscribed make sure you guys subscribe especially if you guys want to see cool automotive content here in hawaii this channel is for you so today we're gonna have a little day in the life vlog once again merry belated christmas to all of you guys uh we got some stuff to take care of today we got some errands to run we're gonna go get lunch i also have some questions from you guys from my instagram i posted it about the day or christmas eve actually asking you guys to ask me anything so we're gonna run down that today but first we gotta go and do some shipping because we got rail with us today uh she has a very very busy season for her um for her own what do I call it? Small business. It's not a small business, it's a business. It's not a small business anymore because apparently <laughs> she's done 5,000 plus orders this year. Was it 5,000? 5,000, right? Yeah, 5,000. 5,700. Oh, okay, 6,000. <laughs> she's done almost 6,000 orders just this year alone for her own small in her own business. You better cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not cutting that out. But yeah, if you guys want some nice handmade jewelry made by her, follow Shop Lamonsti on Instagram. And with that being said, let's get out of here. And of course, our obligatory rollout. I totally messed up. We're supposed to take that exit, so apparently we're gonna go to Starbucks in Kapolei now. Can I drive? Say that again. Can I drive? Should we let her drive, guys? <laughs> Should we? So over this past month, Ray has been hinting an idea to me about a certain car that she's been wanting. So there's a specific car in a specific color that oh Rhea wants to get. Shut up. <laughs> and she only turned on to that car finally. Now you guys know that the dream is to own a Bayside Blue R34. But for her, what color did she want? Millennium Jade. Say it again. Millennium Jade. Millennium Jade. You guys know how hard it is to find a Millennium Jade R34? I think it's a lot more harder than finding a Bayside Blue. But... There's some in the States already. It's about 60, 70 grand. Should we sell the Nismo and just buy an R34? I won't buy a GTR, but I could probably buy a Skyline, but probably gonna have to paint it. Well, here's today's challenge of the day. Can this wide body GTR fit through a Starbucks drive-thru? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Can you blur it out? <laughs> wait, wait, so my, dad, it out. so my dad got Rhea a Christmas gift. I already know what it is, but... I know. Honestly, I don't know how to open an envelope. Can you not like, show it? I don't, know, I don't know how to open an envelope. Oh, All right! Wow. You better blur this out. She's treating Starbucks. I had to stop by Target to get some late Christmas gifts, but damn, bro. Y'all thought when Costco parking lots was kind of small, now this thing looks super small. This car could barely fit in the parking stall, bro. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna walk over because I noticed something. Shout out to our friend over here, wide body friend. God damn. Flexing at Target, bro. So sick. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? <sighs> Alright, so we had to stop by Rhea's house and she has to grab some stuff. So I figure, let's just set this down nicely. Is that better? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna use this time to just answer some of you guys' questions. I did post it on, I think it was Christmas Eve. I just said, ask me anything, and I'm just gonna blaze through you guys' questions. So, going right into it. First one, someone said, remember me. Oh, sorry bro, I don't. Next one, 
any car you want to get in the future. So, uh, apparently there's a lot of cars that I want to get in the future, but the next car that I'm probably thinking about getting is maybe another Nissan or, dare I say it, or maybe a Honda. If not, by default, I'm really thinking of getting back into muscle. So I have like a mix of JDM and muscle. And of course, you guys already know, Mustang or nothing else. But it's, it, it all depends on what, what's the next deal gonna be. Next one, so <laughs> our boy OJ asked, you miss me. OJ, if you're watching this video, I miss you, bro. I haven't seen you in a long time. I hope you're doing well. Uh, next one. What's your goals, ambitions for GZilla and YouTube? I guess goals for this car, for the GTR, I would say next is probably do more power. Um, I'm already topped out on the turbos and I, I really don't have much else to do other than just have fun with the car. I do wanna have to one day hit a thousand horsepower even though like a thousand horsepower is like nothing and it's been done so many times to the GTR but that's the main ultimate goal for this car. Now, do I just say it? Yes, okay. I'm thinking about doing a color change. I know I love the Super Silver, but I do want to do like some crazy rap. I'm still trying to find like rap companies to see which one is the closest to a Bayside Blue. Now, let me know what you guys think. Should I save specifically like a blue GTR for the day that we hopefully get an R34 or maybe wrap the GTR in something that's close to a Bayside Blue. Let me know, drop it in the comments. What's a good mid pipe for the Z? So I'm still new to the whole VQ game. I'm not gonna like front make like I know a lot about it. Um, I guess a good mid pipe would be whatever would coincide to like what is your specific goal for the car. So if you wanna do a single exit, obviously you gotta do a Y pipe. If not, then just go with an H pipe. Um, yeah. It, it just all depends on what, what you want, what's your goal for the car. If you're trying to find a bigger diameter because you're trying to push a little bit more horsepower, maybe you're gonna boost the car. It would be it would be advisable to go with a bigger diameter of an exhaust. But if not, if you're just going for sounds, I would say just whatever's whatever's in your budget, I guess. Um, someone asked, down for photos, yes. So I know for all of you guys, especially in Hawaii, if you guys watch my vlogs, I know a lot of guys been hitting up, blah, blah, blah. I know a lot of guys been hitting me up to do like just photos and stuff or just collaborate. I want to collaborate with any automotive content creator here on Oahu as long as you're a good person. But um, I've just been so busy, especially with this holiday season. You guys know that I work nights and it like I try to at least get five, six hours of sleep. And then, you know, the daytime I use to like film or, you know, to just create content for you guys. But if if any of you guys want to collaborate, do some photos or whatever, I'm always down. As long as it like mixes well with my schedule, I'm always down. So, how cool? What? How? What? Oh, <laughs> how can I be cool like you and your car? Uh, I don't know. Um, this this car's all right. You know, I think I'm a cool person. This car's all right though. But yeah. Uh, someone asked how much. All right, I'm gonna put this out there. A lot of, I've had a lot of questions, you know, and you guys, if you guys follow me on Instagram, sometimes I'll post like, you know, I'll repost like R34 stuff. And the cheapest R34 that I've seen right now is $170,000. That's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of stupid money to be spending, you know, for where I am financially and all this kind of stuff. If this YouTube channel was a lot bigger, then, you know, that's like, it's a no-brainer to possibly get an R34 one day, but we're not there yet, so hopefully we get there. But, someone asked me how much for the GTR. For this GTR, it has to be somewhere close to $100,000, guys. Like, if I'm gonna part way with this car, it has to be somewhere close to $100,000. If not, $110,000. Let's just put it at that, $110,000. If someone was to give me $110,000 for this car, I think I would sell it. Cause you know why? We can just do it all over again. Um, next question, or probably the last question. Oh, Andrea's back. Uh, what would you buy, an S14 or a Honda Civic LS swap EJ Coupe? I would probably just get an S14 because I'm just more true to Nissans. 
shout out to all the Honda Civics, all the four banger guys. Like those true guys that have, or like just build Honda Civics, like, or even tags, those guys are like, man, they got some cojones to just be wheeling around with four bangers, but yeah. That's it for the Q&A. Uh, if you guys ask me questions, I thank you guys so much. But moving along with our day. Second thought, I'm not going to be driving to town. She's going to be driving to town. This is going to be fun. And I think this is the first time I'm taking you guys as me, as a passenger in the GTR. What? Outside. They're being outside. Yeah. God, just, just don't crash. I have plenty of gas. See how much gas I have. 70 miles. Oh, it just dropped down. 69 miles. Still good. It's been no less than five times she's driven the car. And she thinks she's professional. And she can eat and drive at the same time. Literally not even. I, as soon as I stop recording, she runs a pothole. It wasn't even that bad. Unbelievable. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go next to that Suvi and you're gonna call it out. No, <laughs> Dude, there's at least like five people in that Suvi right there. Can you just please drive safely? Yes, I will. It's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh my god, I drove it from freaking Eva Beach to Sand Island to Kapolei to Eva Beach. I think I should be. Fine. And how many potholes did you run over? Like two. Exactly. But that was that was Sun Island's fault. Hey, hey, oh actually, a couple days ago I noticed there was this article and it said Hawaii is the second worst state it's when it comes worst. to roads. It's not, the worst. No, I think it's second this year. Like not something to be proud of, but it's Hawaii for you. patience I've had on this car ride I swear to god okay come on back it up back it up straighten so we're having lunch at CPK and the new Q60 is sitting right out front wow this looks really really nice I love the color very nice let's check the interior oh we got red interior and there's carbon accents too i'm pretty sure the same engine that's in the q60 is gonna be in the new z as well but wow i dig it i really like this color 22 mpgs with a sticker price of sixty-three thousand dollars. yeah i'd rather just buy a gtr yeah it's a red sport that's why so there's a red interior Carbon accents on the front, very nice. I'm pretty sure they use the same material in the GTR as well. Also got that red stitching, very nice. Well, PR day, last bench day of the year. Chris is going for God knows how much he's going. Andrew's gonna go for 225. <laughs> Rhea's hopefully gonna hit 95. I'm here to see Spider-Man. Yeah, so everybody has to hit their PRs in order to go see Spider-Man. We already bought the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> We're ending today's vlog because we just finished watching Spider-Man. Why is lights on? Anyways, 
Probably one of the best Marvel movies I've seen it's this like thus far. It's but, Sony. But it's it's a it's Marvel. Yeah, but Sony. Okay, I don't know the whole backstory. You guys can comment below. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I just love the mix of all the generations. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching another video. Um, I got more plans about the GTR and I'm probably gonna explain that to you guys in the next vlog. Um, how do I say it? We're, we're going against what I said. Let's just put it that way. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't done, subscribe, smash the like button for today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, you guys are all called to be great. Be great in your own way. Stay driven and always remember, challenge your standards.